In this video, we will be introducing Verdi Reverse Debug, and a lab will be demonstrated using Verdi and VCS 2017.03. The Verdi Reverse Debug capability supports interactive debugging with running the simulation backwards. It allows you to go back in time without setting checkpoints and provides full visibility on all objects back in time. Moreover, the simulation control in Reverse Debug is the same as in forward execution. What you're about to learn in this lab are how to enable reverse debug capability, how to set breakpoints, and the reverse interactive simulation control. To enable reverse debug, we need to compile the design with the VCS option debug access plus reverse. And in Verdi, we need to enable reverse debug in the preferences form. Now let's see an example. We can see that the VCS option has been added to enable reverse debug, and that Verdi has launched in interactive mode. We will enable reverse debug by going to Tools, Preferences, and under Interactive Reverse Debug, enable reverse debug and click OK. Once reverse debug is enabled, we can see the reverse simulation control on the toolbar. There is the run continue reverse, next reverse that goes back one source code line, which steps over task function calls, the step reverse that goes back one source code line, and step out reverse that goes back to the source code line where the current function has been called, and so on. We can see that the reverse simulation control corresponds to the forward simulation menu commands. Now let's run the simulation for random time. We can see the simulation has stopped at some time. Well, in our daily debugging scenario, there are cases where we've run the simulation for a long time and we want to go back to some event happened. How can we do so? Of course, we can restart the simulation and run with breakpoints. But with reverse debug, we can do reverse running with breakpoints that did not exist previously. Now, let's see how a breakpoint can be set. We will use the class browser to find the sequence of interest, read by sequence, click on enter to search for the string, double click will sync the source code. I browse through the source code, and I would like to set a breakpoint for the get response task call. A single left click will set the breakpoint. The second click disables the breakpoint, and the third click deletes the breakpoint. Now that we've set the breakpoint, we'll hit the run reverse button. Notice that the simulation time has moved backwards, and the blue arrow here indicates that the simulation is currently at this line, which is the breakpoint we just set. Now we have full visibility on all the objects and variables. Let's go to the local tab. This here indicates the current class object, and the value with the as sign is the class object ID. The object ID are useful to track which class instance we're referring to. And the app for here means we've stopped in the fourth object created of the type read by sequence. To closely monitor the value change, we can use the middle mouse button and drag and drop to the watch pane. We can click on the run reverse a couple more times. Notice the object ID has changed, and also the simulation time has moved backwards. Let's see another example. For now, I would like to disable this breakpoint. We can go to the Manage Breakpoints form, which lists all the breakpoints I currently have. I would like to disable this breakpoint and enable another one. We'll use the run reverse to go back to the breakpoint I just enabled. Now I would like to do a simple line stepping. 
Oh, oh. I've overstepped. Originally, I intended to stop at this line and step into the write function, but now I've overstepped. Without having to restart a simulation, we can use reverse interactive debug to go back and step into the function. We'll use the next reverse to go back to the previous line. And now we can use step to step into the function. And that's the lab demo for this training session. We have seen in this video how to enable reverse debug capability and how to set breakpoints and also the various reverse simulation control. Thank you for watching.